Hi, Ken Jennings here with Mr. Rekey, and today I've got something exciting to share with you. We've worked hard in the management center to create circumstances that will help you grow as a locksmith. And this is our latest offer, and we're making these available to our techs. I'll tell you more about it here in a moment, how you can get one. But I'd like to talk to you about what we've put in this kit. This kit is designed that if you're running commercial jobs and you have this kit, you could handle 80, 90% of what you run into that is mortise cylinders, minus, of course, the IC core, which we'll circle back to in the next video. This is what we've included in this kit. Let me just run through this with you and give you an idea of what's included. In section one right here, we have different size rings. These are the rings that, that go on top of the mortise cylinder, between the mortise cylinder and the door, to make it look good, to space it out just right. In the next column below it right here, we have also uh, rings that are spring-loaded to also help make the installation of the uh, mortise cylinder look good. And then we have some other uh, protective rings right here. Now, these are all the three rings that I showed you here are all in the 26D uh, brushed uh, aluminum color. All right, so next slot right here is our thumb turn. Oftentimes, you'll find a situation where there is a keyed mortise cylinder on the front door, a keyed one on the inside, you know, one on the outside, one on the inside, and it's basically turned their Adams Wright lock into a double cylinder deadbolt. But you have the option now of converting that deadbolt into a thumb turn for the inside, basically making it like a single cylinder deadbolt. That's one less lock that you've got a key, and the customers are usually quite grateful they don't have to use a key every time they want to lock their door from the inside. Going on, we have, this is our row for the 26D. We have two cylinders here. These two are both Schlage cylinders, so you can replace those cylinders with these two Schlage. And we also have two of the Quickset uh, mortise cylinders here. And these both were commercial doors, and also you're going to find some older homes that use these mortise cylinders as well. They have a cassette that is mortised into the door, hence the name mortise cylinders. All right, next column, we have what's missing here, but we're gonna add it to the kits, is a bronze, that's the bronze color here, a bronze uh, thumb turn is gonna be right here for you. Then we have two bronze Schlage cylinders here ready to go, and two bronze quick set cylinders. And the reason we have both Schlage and Quickset is you never know what you're going to run into. And oftentimes you're going to need sometimes two. So we've made sure we've got you covered there. Let's move on to the next column here. This is uh, row three. And here we have what is, what is known as rim cylinders. Now rim cylinder uh, looks like this. There are no threads, of course, because it fits into the lock and is held in place by the two screws here that are on the back. Where do we use rim cylinders? Well, most crash bars, if not all crash bars, use rim cylinders. Where else do we use rim cylinders? Well, we also use them in overhead garage doors. The roll-up garage doors use rim cylinders in most cases. And if you have a homeowner who wants to convert their garage door into a, a key that is compatible with the front door, then you would use these in that case. So you've got two rim cylinders included here. Moving on, we talked about the 26D uh, protective ring, spin ring. We have the bronze spin ring, and then we have some bronze, different color sizes of rings that can be used to adjust the, 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 the door mortise cylinder so that it looks perfect when it's on the door. By the way, all of our uh, mortise cylinders here are the one and one eighth inch size. So that's designed specifically that it handles probably 99% of all doors. Every once in a while, you're gonna get a door that requires a shorter one or a longer one, but it's very unlikely. These, the one and one eighth is gonna cover most cases. All right, very exciting. Let's go on to our final row. Here we have some replacement set screws. 
If you've ever worked on Adam's right, that could be something you find that you need, especially if you had to destroy one uh, to get the mortar cylinder out that happens. We'll also have an assortment here. Uh, there's more coming, but we have an assortment of additional tail pieces. We have an old, this is called a clover leaf here. And this one is used in a lot of old timey doors you find in the center of town where they're old Ruswin Corbins, old sergeants, things of that nature might use a clover leaf tailpiece and you've got one now, so you'll be able to handle that. Here in these next five slots, right here, are five different key and knob cylinders. What do you need those for? Well, if you're working on a commercial building, you may have to replace a key and knob cylinder. You can also find that these key and knob cylinders also and oftentimes work in deadbolts. You can remove the cylinder out of the deadbolt, especially many Schlage uh, or Arrow, uh, some other brands allow you to remove the cylinder and replace it with a replacement cylinder. It's one of the things I love about working on commercial buildings. So many of the parts are interchangeable, which makes our life really easy. Um, so let me just go through the five different cylinders we have you and tell you what we have in each one. So they come with the cylinder and the key. This one is a rust one. So if you've ever run into a rust win key, you've now got a pre-cut rust win key that you can work off of. You don't have to give this key away. You can use the blanks uh, for the rust win to uh, just copy this onto the blanks and you can keep these keys for another rekey job. Uh, next is Yale, same thing. Oh, no, I'm sorry, next is Sargent. These are Sargent keys. You've got a set of pre-cut Sargent keys here. And then the next slot is Yale. You can see the Yale key down there. I won't try to grab that, but there's Yale. And then of course, our standby Schlage, probably 90% of what you're gonna run into is Schlage. And you've got a Schlage cylinder here. And, and then finally, a quick set cylinder. Sometimes you have a situation where they might have a quick set compatible mortise cylinder on the front door, but the back door is Schlage. Well, once you get it apart, you can replace it with a quick set cylinder and key everything the same, and the customers will love that. So you can see by having this kit here, you will be able to handle pretty much, other than IC Core, 90% uh, of what you run into, you can solve with this kit. We've had cases already where we've tried this kit out and it really has been a time saver, a life saver, and it allows our techs if they have this kit, to really move to the next level of their development. So we're making this kit available. You're quite probably asking yourself the question right now, what is this kit going to cost? Well, uh, it's cost us about $200 a kit to put these together, to buy all the cylinders and everything that's in here. If you price everything out, you'll see that you can expect to pay somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, however, we are making this available exactly at our cost. So we're going to uh, recalculate the cost, but we think it's going to be $200. I highly recommend having it. It's a, it is an investment. That is true. But when you think about all the commercial jobs that you're going to be able to do and make more money, it makes sense. Not only that, but when you do a commercial job, oftentimes the hardware that you swap out from this kit, you will recover the hardware that's already on the doors that is no longer uh, needed or obsolete, and you'll be constantly restocking your kit. That's why we went with such a large kit, and we left an empty spot here for you to put uh, extra pieces in. So just wanted you to see this was available. Reach out to Lena, reach out to myself, uh, and we'll be happy to ship one of these kits out to you immediately. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.